endometriosis can be a horrible, horrible, horrible condition. It's thought to affect around 10% of women, but I suspect it's the true number is probably much, much, much higher than that. It can lead to debilitating pain, not even just around periods, but throughout the month. And it can lead to problems with peeing, problems with pooping, can cause blood in the urine, blood in the poo, uh, a deep pelvic pain, it can cause pain during sex. It can lead to a lot of functional impairment as well, because it is a chronic illness. So then you get all of the effects of chronic illness with it as well, with the tiredness, the guilt, the mental effect that it, it would have on someone. It's a, it's a really horrible condition. It's, it's under-researched. The, the really bad thing about it is that it can take up to 12 years for someone to be diagnosed with it. And that's awful. And on top of that, the gold standard investigation is to do a laparoscopy. So that's where we put a camera into your belly. Um, we inflate the tummy so we can have a look. And we try and find lesions of endometriosis within uh, the abdominal cavity. But... We don't always see it, but that's the best investigation that we have so far. And that procedure in itself comes with lots of risks because it is still an operation. And there are lots of treatments, usually hormone related treatments. There are some non-hormonal ones as well. Um, different treatments will agree or disagree with different people. And there used to be a school of thought that symptoms of endometriosis or even adenomyosis might improve uh, once you've been pregnant, once you've given birth to a child. But um, that's not necessarily true. It can help a lot of women, but um, there's no guarantee that something like that would lead to a reduction in the symptoms. There's a lot that we don't know about endometriosis. 